So I'm here to talk a little bit about soda stream bottles and um, in particular their caps uh, with Fizzgiz plug valves installed. Well, as it turns out, Fizzgiz plug valves installed in soda stream caps um, are inferior to Fizzgiz caps. Fizzgiz valves that are installed in common, everyday, ordinary uh, soda bottle caps. The materials are different. This material is far more brittle than this material. And the uh, valves, if we want to remove the valve, we'll take this one out. Okay, so there's the Fizzgiz plug valve. They're installed in a hole that you place in the cap. But notice that this cap, which has been in use now, has these fracture lines emanating out uh, radially from the center. Here's one. Maybe you can see it. Um, here's another. And here's another. And these are actual fracture lines that go all the way through the material. Here's that fracture line that's moved, that was moving to the right. Here's the fracture line here that was moving down and to the left. And um, here's a fracture line here that was moving uh, up and to the, to the left. So you see these, uh, these fractures, uh, maybe if I press on this, you'll be able to see one of them open up a bit. Yeah, you can see the one on the left there. It's very hard to do. I'm a little shaky with it. But... Uh, yeah, it's, so it's opening up. And thus, this cap is no longer airtight. And the material that, uh, you know, is used in this cap is junk for the purpose of, you know, creating a Fizzgiz valve cap. And even though I've had thousands of these uh, over the years that people have converted because they wanted to cap their bottles off and then introduce some... CO2, you know, into the bottle through the Fizzgiz plug valve that, uh, that you see here. All right. Um, yeah, these caps are just junk when it, when it comes to that. If they were made out of a material that was less brittle and was tougher, uh, that would uh, have a little bit more elasticity in it. Uh, in in the caps, then um, you know it would it would be okay. So I don't recommend to customers that they use Fizzgiz plug valves in uh, Soda Stream caps unless you can get a cap that's made from a a better a more suitable material. Okay, so uh, hopefully uh, hopefully this will you know, shed some light on, on the subject and uh, explain uh, a little bit, uh, you know, more clearly why I don't recommend installing Fizzgiz plug valves into soda stream caps anymore. People still do it. You get a little life out of them. This doesn't happen for a while. But if you like really high carbonation, which you can't get in your soda stream uh, uh, bottles simply because of the fact that the uh, there is a uh, <clears throat> uh, a uh, check valve that opens inside the soda soda stream machine to relieve uh, excessive pressure and uh, I don't know what that pressure is but I do know that it's uh, not as great as what you can achieve inside of a uh, inside of a soda bottle I mean it's, it's simple uh, uh, simply measuring it you can weigh the co2 after you put it into a known volume and find out how much uh, co2 there is in the uh, in the volume and then you can calculate the co2 per unit volume and you can always uh, achieve higher with the thinner walled soda bottles because of the soda bottles uh, cap they're they're much uh, more airtight so hopefully that uh, explanation 
will help you out. And um, if you have any questions, as always, write Mr. Fizz at fizzgiz.com, and I'll try to help you any way that I can.